You are watching Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform. Aha, ye can be be a fa hong hong semo. Aha, ye enlighten people. Ye be wa jinimu. E be wu nyami sumu. Na afe ye Kenya wu chakras ni na na ni na ye be mu. E wa ha, aha no mu ye educational platform. Aha na ye revealing ni ama e ye wu se wunim na wunim. Ni a wati da na wun tias ye. Revelations platform e be be mu ama wo. Ati ya se, ube timi ya fre platform wese e ye ria se. Bi biya e timi e hapen e wahadum. Once again, I welcome you. Na mi di e de ma mi grace. Na mi ye revelations. Afe yi ende, we have a different guest here. But he is one of our own. Na oni ye kwa discuss. O se de unmasking the devil is a huge topic. Inti evangelist Francis Esiedu e mo wakwa ba. And about revelations platform, we say so. Um, in one minute, Chia me, me viewers, you know, na Chia won't so what of all not introduce you at your platform. Did he come with us that can see my own coupon? And he as that can see my obibia or share, especially Mammy Grace, and the obibia or share your name or more or more share in a bachelor me did the Francis Evangelist Francis Cabinet. You do, uh, men are me. Uh, caretaker, I uh, sorry, a friend of Fresh World Revealed Ministry, a uh, award teaching, a uh, boomer. Be a uh, tele evangelist, me preach you all other uh, radio stations, a bit a rainbow radio number one FM, and other yeah. platforms. So you have the advert, I'm going to be with me shoes. Sorry. Because I'll preach you all radio, baby. So, what's your name? And I'll be to you. But I'm sure we'll be here. Hey, so um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, evangelist Francis is here to or no, and now yeah, yeah, guess and then my mouth topic, you know, unmasking the devil. In this year, because we'll be a evangelist, I'm a pastor. Say, we will be a nyamia suman. Nyamia, nyamia suman. Say, on fast and as and pa, and we're among four. And more, more times, you know, he's a soul winner. He goes out to fish people for Christ. At the same time, you know, credentials are a mobile evangelist, a yeah, healings, miracles, and faith. And faith. Yeah. Until how long have you been an evangelist? I've been an evangelist for almost about 15 years. 15 years? Yes, please. Okay, so, Ceciano, who say, I'm sorry, 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 and uh, can't see see and done in the the kind of how we see men of God and how we see Christians the way are first you know, in the 90s and sometimes in the 80s you know you a Christian bar it means a way with Christian is here no Christian it will take the gift of descending of spirit or to take the uh, the help of the Holy Spirit to know say we are Christian I didn't know about this um I strongly believe so it to be her teachings now some of the pastors are giving you know, it's not right it's not right yes how? How is it? Um, there are messages you preach to a Christian because the main purpose of you being the body of Christ is for you to be perfected. Okay? So that Christ will be formed in you. And now, call sorry, they are not teaching the, the real gospel. They are teaching heresies. Others are teaching religion. Others are teaching a whole lot of stuff. And the, the right messages for the church to be built up now, the church members are not getting them. Some churches are not getting it. In the American life, you know, it's a little bit you know, contrary to what Christ has already ordained. So how word we must tell you so heresies, heresies. Heresy is a false teaching. It's a false teaching. Yeah. Into your mom yeah, false teaching in your no. Where does God play them? Place them. Okay, for now I'm not in the position to judge them, but I think as time goes on, when you teach them, they'll come to the knowledge of the truth. They will come to the knowledge of the truth. Yes. So uh, then Emma a be no more Emma false teaching, sir. The reason is that for one to become a minister, according to Bible criteria, the Bible says in 2 Timothy 2, verse 15, was a study to show thyself approved unto God. You can't just become a minister or mount the pulpit whilst you are ignorant. Other than that, you, you bundle a lot of uh, false teachings and not the members, you know. So, what I say. so you need to be approved. You need to be well I mean, indoctrinated. How do we know, sir, where do you are approved? How do we know? A whole lot. Uh, for uh, example, mm -hmm. I would say, when somebody is teaching from the spirit or teaching the word of God, so what you say, and the person is a mature person, what we have you just know what the person is teaching. Say you have wrong, the Holy Ghost in you will give you a witness that they all can The Holy Spirit. Yes. 
Hotel you said you can in you. Yes. In you. In you. Hotel you said you can. Do you know if you can't do it? Uh, to, oh, no, no. You uh can't -huh. do it. You can't do it. But what you can do is you have the Holy Spirit inside you, you know, and are synchronized with the Holy Ghost. You know. When somebody is teaching something and you're right, you know. Okay, this is not your topic, but um, are we going to heaven? Definitely, yeah. We are going to heaven. Yes, but we come back on earth again. We will go to heaven. And we come back. Can you explain this part for me? Yes. Um, when we first, uh, Thessalonians chapter number five, talk, talking about the rapture. Now the Bible says that when the trumpet sound, we shall all be uh, caught up in the, in the heavens. We're caught up with him. All right. We will go, according to the scriptures, we will go to heaven. For seven years, we'll come back again. So, the tr a trumpet will blow. Yes. We will all be caught up. And those, uh, those who are dead first will rise up first. And those who are alive. We will all join. We will all join. Yes. For seven years. Yes. 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 I know such a church be all believe exactly. in that. Exactly. And you know, maybe so. And but you made a minjin, sir. So, who can one work with? So, now, so, who call now? Who just asked already? Now, Moosey, Nina, Moosey, what? 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 Moosey, you are watching Revelations with Mami Grace and Evangelist um, Francis Siedu. We are discussing, or he is going to unmask the devil. Okay, evangelist, um, when we say devil, the word devil, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of that? Okay, so word devil, no, it comes from the Greek word diabolos. Greek word diabolos. What it means, uh, obia, uh, the word dia, uh, two words, uh, the word dia means to divide. Bolos is one, someone, someone who is throwing, with the, who is throwing consistently. So it can say be a devil, it's someone who is throwing with the intention of dividing. That's the meaning of a devil. And the word devil is not a name. Devil is a character. It will be said, don't be a devil in my life. Or patch say, and yeah, bon sam. Or patch say, one nee ye a yat said bon sam. So the word devil is not a name. The word devil is a is a character, it's an attitude. For example, can John chapter number six, John chapter seven. All right, yes, we can send me. Or see, my friend mu twelve, but mumu ba ku e den e ye bon sam. And which I said Judas was. A devil by like the devil we know, like Satan who became devil. All right. But he was trying to say, say, Judas, your character, your attitude is in line with somebody who is a devil. So uh, your uh, yeah, interior behavior, the behavior is yeah. an act. Yes. And your personality. No. But who say uh, Satan became devil? Explain yeah. that part. Uh, say, Satan be became a devil. That is say, the way Satan is a name. So I just hear. But his attitude is what you call the devil. Satan is a noun. Devil is a verb. So Satan is a personality. It's a personality, but his attitude is what we call is the devil. Okay, so mm -hmm. for example, I'm an evangelist, but I had the functionality of a prophet. Matthias here. Maybe I'm a person, maybe Sano. And he says, see you know, Satan and a devil. Mm -hmm. It is Satan your personality. Yes. Devil is an act. Yes. Ti ebe tu miyaka say Satan ne e kose ana e power devil word no mani ye juma. Exactly. It is Satan power devil mani ye juma. Satan odin krofone kwe. Odin krofone. Me tu tu me tu ya se kapi. Okay. Satan. Uh huh. Ono na o power the word devil. Yes. The character devil. Aye act no. Yes. Emma eni pa e act. Mm hmm. That devilish. Behavior, exactly. as you said. Mm -hmm. So Satan, the mission, your dainty, or power, devil, a man and crawford acting. Okay. Now Satan was two main goals. The two main goals, number one, is dominion, and number two, there's something we call transgenerational allegiance. I fell into bracket worship. The two main we know. We can Isaiah chapter number fourteen, reading from verse twelve. Or say, I will exalt myself to be like the Most High. What does here? Is I will be like God. He always wants to dominate. And the word God has to do with uh, abilities. That has to do with power. So Satan, one main agenda of Satan is to dominate. 
So that one of the reasons, one of the reasons why your authority and or empower that character in, uh, into men is number one, he wants to dominate man. Number two, he wants to be worshipped, and that is a mo uh, two powerful temptations are. Uh, we really see here, uh, even though it was three, but we really see uh, the two main one. Uh, uh, I brought Matthew chapter four. I brought empty years, you know. So I just here. Or see, if you are the son of man, turn this stone into bread. Number one, the purpose of he tempting Jesus at that time is to make sure that Jesus, I mean, stop what he was doing to focus on feasting because he was fasting. So I just here. So he wanted Jesus to know. He wanted to know whether Jesus had information about dedication and commitment to an assignment. Number two, Okachi used to say, would uh, be kingdom. Is I will give you all these things and the glue in it. He's talking about dominion. Because I want you to dom I want to dominate you. So I want to give you this thing so that I can have authority. Number three, or sister Okotomia, Mede, Okotomia, between the division. And the two main goals, the goals hit me. Number one, dominion. Number two, Transgenerational allegiance or person if I saw no. Okay, now say okay, sir, or catch a yes, you say, Oko to me, I'm the wing in our bemawa. Not just our dominion, dada. Yes, because I'm not the old to me for a movie. Exactly. And he wanted to dominate Jesus himself. Only Papa, no, will be beer. Yeah, but he wanted to dominate Jesus. Yes, to be a Yes, no more movie, yes, to a chili in Abano. Exactly. That's the me. Okay, so today you are unmasking the devil. Exactly. Unmask the devil for us to see. Okay. Me da sepa. Uh, adie me me chire adie kakra. Na ba chobe so bi team ye. Na adie e eh, adie a eh, Christ will be bring him. Na wo tia e eh, be Amen. Number 1, I want to talk about let's take from the foundation Lucifer, Satan and man. Okay? Lucifer like I said earlier on became Lucifer was an archangel. Ah na oye oh, cherub. He wasn't a seraphim. A lot of Christians believe say he was a uh, choir leader. That's what we are, we are told. Abraham is one. We are told say he was a choir leader and that's. But when we say we study the Bible carefully, the Bible speaking uh, is in, uh, in prophetic. Wrong. So Lucifer was has nothing to do with how do you call it music. Even though he had that functionality, he was a cherubim. Cherubims they don't they don't do music. So I just say Ezekiel 28 verse 17. Or say you were anointed cherub. He was not a seraphim. Cherubims are people who protect the glory of God. They protect the presence of God. Amen. And he, uh, Lucifer was a cherub, not a, a seraphim. Even though he had the functionality of a seraphim, he wasn't. Okay, Lucifer became Satan. How? Bible say, his uh, the beauty no every Now the word the, the Bible used the word heart. Or say your heart was lifted. I didn't hear the word heart over there. No, in the original Hebrew, it means libab, meaning your mind. Okay, is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, this one. You also use the word to say your heart was lifted. So that word heart no means you know, according to the Hebrew word is lib, L-E-B. And to study both Ezekiel and both Isaiah, the context is say Lucifer's mind became the object of rebellion. It was manipulated in every realm. So what made Lucifer to become Satan is what? The mind had the wrong mindset. Okay. Let's go to what are some of the channels are some of the first way pretty. Now, there are three main powerful channels are born some who pretty. The first channel is witchcraft. When you study the Bible carefully, uh, from, from beginning, you could see witchcraft from beginning to the end. You can say witchcraft. I am a bridge, witchcraft is sebi, sebi, ubi, utu, and a panam. That's what people think. But I know here, other aspect of witchcraft. You can say witchcraft, and your two words put together. The word witch means uh, it's in the person who diverts or pervert. Because you will be a very say before you will be a or chia idea. So what you see and a craft means to design or to produce. And to which craft means someone who produces what diversion will be a chia idea. And there were three types of witchcraft. You were witchcraft by the works of the flesh, and your witchcraft by evil spiritual power, and your witchcraft within the church. And I'll talk more about the witchcraft within the church because I need a course in this end time. Now, witchcraft, and I can witchcraft, number two, what it means is this. Witchcraft is the art, is a character who manifests with obedience to dominate someone. Okay, or a person will show be so in a negative way. That is witchcraft because God didn't create us to be dominated. God doesn't dominate human being. God has given us our own will. And to be a person, or shiny person, that person is them as what? As a witch. Exactly. Exactly. That's manifesting witchcraft. Ah, okay. So what you say? And to be a witch, the person who should be so, 
Ufana, ufana say, okay, be blank, be. That's witchcraft. A case of witchcraft, witchcraft is witchcraft is a manifesting a character. So what I say, a character, and then you can't put it in the No, what will be so? You give example. Okay. Example, you need to say, pride, arrogance, selfishness, covetousness. Me, you need witchcraft. And you have witchcraft by the works of the flesh. We can Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. Or so now the works of the flesh are made manifest. Or can or can idolatry, or can witchcraft. So what I say, it is the biara, the deep biara. What the usubai eni nyami asemwe dey enfano. You are manifesting witchcraft. That is witchcraft. And the case of witchcraft in swa. Let me give you another definition of witchcraft. Your case will be will be a beifua. The word witchcraft, okay, also means say. I didn't need to say. What's the answer? You were witch. You were witch. Yes. Chinachi. Mm -hmm. To say, Nipa bet TNT. Exactly. Then, well, okay, so at this point, so uh -huh. the way I was describing witchcraft, mm -hmm. tell me all the religious body now, why do you practice witchcraft? I will, say Christ, I will say Christianity. Why? Because they are ignorant. They are ignorant. Many pastors are operating are, are witches and wizards. They don't know. Many pastors. Explain. A lot of them. Explain. I will explain. Was it Galatians chapter number 3, verse 1? Paul says something. Or see, all foolish Galatians who have bewitched you. Or see, you started well in the spirit. Now you are made perfect in the flesh. So what I say? Oboha, na me friend no, no, obompa ye pa, or ye de nyaku pompe. Na me peja ni kakrebi pe, wasasa, ni suba wasasa. That is witchcraft. Oh, be bompa ye na fe, obompa ye biuma. Na se mpa ye no kwa, obo ye dru bebi ya wun tu mi bobi yum. How does this become witchcraft? You see, that, that is where we, we, we got it wrong. There's a place, there's something we call demonic manipulation. Eh? Manipulation. Now, se obi bo mpaye, ne si siyan wejai. Eh? Wejaya, what made you to stop? And what was empowering you from the beginning? Then the next show ma wejai sa adiyano. In the DNT na ma wejai. Let me, let me ask this. Okay, go ahead. And sometimes I want to understand these things. Okay. Me ne wo kasa se siye. Empire ye ba ye kasa ma wa nye ye ni nya me ne kasa. Exactly. O ni me kasa se siye. So who kasa na me be kasa? Who ye kum? I'm a mesu me kasa. Sa. Ana me boa. Inti se who bom pa ye ni me ni anko pomo. You don't have to keep quiet for him also to talk. No, that's different. That's different. There's there's something we call. We say prayer is a dialogue. Prayer is not a monologue. Because a dialogue, I talk, you talk. So I just say prayer is a communication. I talk, you talk. But here lies the case. They say my bom pa ye. I have stopped praying. I don't pray again. It means I've diverted. What something has shifted my attention. Something where I was on a particular track, but he said my feet start track no, he said on a different track. I've been diverted. Something has pulled me somewhere. That's called witchcraft. For example, when I said do stand me shall not be be holy, all of a sudden I said me boy your mind. What is wrong? What happened? It's because you stopped praying. It's because I've stopped the certain I was on a particular track, maybe one major here, and another entity has entered. So what I say, it's a mama diverting. Right now, for, okay, I'm going to put it away. For the same person, now, we will be a, sebe, we will be tight. We will be sorry, we will be sorry them. So for bar, we will say, we will be a bomb, we will be a bomb. All of a sudden, we will be tight to you. We will be a sorry, we will be a bomb. Do you know what has happened to you? What has happened? What has happened to you is that you have received a different doctrine. Somebody has spoken to you. You have received a different belief system. Something has affected your faith. Bibi at Bibi at touch him. I will say, baby, Bibi Ben at touch him. I will say, say it's an influence from the devil. From the devil. Exactly. It can't be like me here help church now, mommy help mm -hmm. pastor name mama attention. Okay. And I decided not to give my tithe again. It can't be like that. I know say a devil. Now, if you do that, you know, I will say, say it's the devil. Okay. Do you know why I'm saying that? Because. I the point of which I say, are you in the church because of the pastor, or you are there because you're going to serve God? Uh, that is the question. Are you there to serve the man of God? We are there to serve God. There are so many Christians. Some people they want to have uh, an approval from where, the pastor. Where do we place God and the man of God? Okay. Where do we place him? Where do we place these two people? Okay. I come to church. Uba hey, uba revelations. But through me, yeah, we have any casa. 
So where do we place the man of God and the church the man, and, and God? The man of God is Christ's representative. He's God's representative. Uh -huh. So what makes him? Okay. He doesn't make him God. He doesn't make him God. The man of God is not God. So the man of God cannot cause anybody to get out of the church. He can. Uh -huh. So why do you blame the devil for this? You see? And what also makes the man of God to do that? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Uh -huh. So why wouldn't you say the devil used the man of God, but you said the person that said, I won't pay my tithe again because church didn't help me. You see, or not a devil you're, not, you're, not, you're not saying two things at the same time. Because you said... Explain for me to Okay, <laughs> all right, I'll explain. All right. When we say, Obu Ahua, the main reason why he goes to church is simply because to have an approval from the man of God. And there are so many, even some ushers and some co-pastors, they are there because of the man of God. They're not there because they want to work for God. A lot of them. I'm a, I'm a senior pastor. I've handled many sons. So I just, some of our sons are outside. And I know how it is. Obu, they are there just to give you, to say, oh, or yam or shape up in the moon. So I just say, Obu, also, or hope because he wants a platform. No, or the other, or the climbing. Obu, also, or hope simply because, say, Obu, be be free with him. And Obu, also, also, be say, oh. So I just say, Obu, the man of God is, there's nothing wrong with the man of God. The man of God is doing whatever he, want, he needs to do. But the person in particular, has a problem. So I just say, there are so many things. I remember Obi, Aja, sorry. Most of the times, in the pastor, no. And to the boy, motive for the bar, sorry, no. That's what God is looking at. The Bible says that dry, dry out the, the schooner and contention shall flee. There are people they must leave the church. Hmm. There are people they must leave the church. Exactly. There are people they must, they Why? must go. Why? Because uh, their, their, their purpose of being there is cause division. And division. Comes, uh, division is a work of witchcraft. So God called you people for who and who? He is called it us not the, those who are lost? Exactly. Uh -huh, so but there are people who are in the church, all right? They, even, they are in the church, but they know what is right, but they will intentionally, deliberately not to do it. Is that not why God called you? It's the reason why God called me, but you see, God has no false people. For example, Adam and Eve, they were in front of the tree. God saw them, they are doing it. God didn't say anything. God allowed them to do it. So you unmask the devil, let's see. <laughs> All right. So one of the aspects of, uh, one of the channels of Satan, uh, yeah, witchcraft. Another thing, you're very be sorcery. And when most Christians are even victims of it, most Christians are victims of it. A kind of sorcery, it is, uh, sorcery is divided into three things. Number one, the first kind of sorcery is drugs. A drug. A drug. COVID-19. Vaccine. Eh? It's a deception. But you're But okay. All right. Um, tramadol, cocaine, marijuana, weed, all those are form of sorcery. Abeyisem. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> your drugs uh -huh. your drugs is against humanity. The Give effect. us like ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Cocaine. Mm -hmm. Marijuana. Mm -hmm. Weed. Tramadol. Marijuana and one is okay, okay, uh, Tramadol. Mm -hmm. All right. Tramadol. Yes. Doctor former tramadol. Do you know that? Oh yes, but the effect. Okay. okay. The effect. Yo, the tramadol. Um, the whole lot of them, a lot of drugs are, when you use them, are, I think it's against the health. So I just hear. And uh, drugs. There are so many youth today who, whose destiny has been uh, diverted or be destroyed because of drugs. A lot of them, so to say, a bit of a circle, say, sometimes I cannot, boys, you be, why won't it You could say, or capsize this, or chant you, or say, yeah, then you. You could say, the last night, we call program people, Kaswa, or Next TV. And I saw a guy, the guy was intoxicated under the influence of Tramador. Now, Ujinawa, I said, as after the air, it's actually. It's not boys, no, I'm going now, I'm almost ready. You see, and these are some of the ways I've been summoned in. And they say the Christopher, and they say the youth, drugs. Another thing is your music. Music is one of the things that born some, you know, a very easily way to, to win somebody. There are so many people who are under, under the influence of sorcery because of music. Music, as they say, is a, is a fruit to the soul. But I can boldly tell you, say, certain kinds of music, especially worldly music, eh, is a very dangerous tool. And it's a platform upon some agenda to the young man for me. Very, very, people don't, are not aware. So listening to it or dancing to it, which one? You see, words are spirit. Words are spirit. Whatever you hear, you become. Whatever you hear, you become. Faith comes by hearing and what? And hearing. The more you listen to certain kind of music, it becomes part and parcel of your soul. And don't forget, the main agenda of Satan is to win your soul. So I just say, it's music, it's a very, very dangerous tool. 
When we say, for example, when we say we train more baby, and I know you're born new baby, but you're born new man. You are not listening, no. But what do you do? Do you do it? You know, you start. You begin to hear the song within your spirit. If you order. See, if you order. Yeah, per se, you know, kind of in Jumuna. Then words in the one Jumu, a man is dangerous. All right. Because when we go to church, to we sing. I'm so yeah in Jum. Yeah, I'm talking about worldly songs. What is when you say worldly songs? What are you talking? Because yeah, worldly songs, and you man, any Christ was, and any far Christo. A bit, oh, that man, too, you know, but can wear, you know, because there's one particular song that any Christo niche here, but me, I like it. So, my wear, you know, be a who on you know, you know, oh, I'm not addicted to music, though, but ah, uh, but say when we say that we did, so we come here. Uh, a song like, Dimpo. Um. You know this kind of new uh, mafia sex and when they uh, at opani. Ah, mm. nobody sings like that. They say me. There's this there's one song I like. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know how to sing it, but see, although they say no, me be we are still say me be do unko, me be do. So who ni ma me no be o say. I just love that song. That I can play it like hundred times a day. A day. Okay. But it's about love. And okay. most of these secular songs, you know, mm -hmm. most of them, I'm not saying they are, I am not, I mean, I hear them when I go to gym. Okay. But when you listen to them, some of them encourage you. It's not all of them. Okay. And I'm sorry, them will soon you might hear Kotono. O ni pa wu nim no na wo do o tai no. O nyanko pa wu nim no. Na wo do no. That's gospel. O bi ka se mm -hmm. o do nyanko pon na o tiny nya o yo torofo. O be ka se. O be ka se no e ye papa. But mm -hmm. sa angi mwini na ye tu se yafan ye juma wa sorry dem. So why, how do you differentiate this? Okay. I want to understand. Not every song ye tu wa sorry dem ye nyame nyom. Nti di amitu ye ye ye. Deo tu ye nyame nyom a gospel song. So I just say because it is line with scriptures. So I just say. There are so many songs that wa sorry dem ma. Uh, Mama Grace, and yet, Namino, and you gospel song go. Really, my I'm telling you, my abaco. Um, a bit to say, and, 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 and you like this. We are marching to Zion, uh -huh. beautiful, be mm -mm. Huh? We are not marching to Zion. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22. We are already in Zion. We are not marching there. When will you get there? Hey! Hey! And you mean to say, well, I'll say, and you remember to be, and you must be in line with scriptures. Okay. And you mean to say, eh, uh, um, there's a, this particular, I don't want to mention his name. No, but that, said, that song. But uh, a song like, me banu kala muta de sereme, nearer blessed Lord to the cross where thou art die. God should draw you nearer to the cross to do what? The cross is not meant for you. Hey. Yes. The cross was meant for only Jesus, not for you. Why should Jesus draw you nearer to the cross to do what? So the Amuka said, carry your cross and follow me in any way. Now carry your cross, the, the, the cross, you know, is, is that's different from the cross that you are thinking about. So I just say, and oh. is a cross and you create a weed. <laughs> so I just say, so there are so many songs, sir. People are singing in the church and they think, say, it is in line with God's word. Now let me differentiate. People think, say, everything within the Bible is God's word. No. Ah? Uh? Mm-hmm. I will explain. Please do. Okay. The Bible is a book. Eh? Which The Bible is what? A book. Please, you tell me. <sighs> okay. Say, hi, revelation. Mm. So I'm revealing. Mm. The Bible is a book. Which contains God's word, man's word, Satan's word. I will explain. Even in the Bible, animals spoke. In the Bible, Satan spoke. But God inspired men to write them for our learning. So there are things that God said in the Bible. God said in the Bible. Eh? It is not meant for us now. It is meant for the people at that time. Hey! Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what we call revelation. There are things God said in the Bible. All right, it is meant for the people at that time. It's not meant for us now. God spoke to them based on their dispensation. Okay, now we're in this, this, this dispensation of what of the Holy Spirit. Is that not it? In the beginning, it was this dispensation of man. Okay, let me explain. The Bible is a book which contains God's word, man's word, Satan's word. Satan spoke in the Bible through a force. Man spoke in the Bible through a force. God spoke in the Bible. Is that also? There are things that man said. It wasn't God who said it. It will fight the deeper. It be kind, yeah. Our Bible, mu. Now, because the actual Bible, mu, Christ said. Now they justify who we are. We are in mistake. Because if you poor Christ said, the the actual man make it. And then I mean, I can't. You, I am men America. It will be to say, Job Christ said, "Unami na ma onu anoje." So Bible, mu. Unami ma adi so onje. James one verse seventeen. 
Are you saying the Bible has contradictions? No, they don't have contradictions. So what is what? Yes, they don't have contradictions. But you see, there are levels of truth. There are levels of truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the Bible is very deep. If you're not careful, you misinterpret the scriptures. So what I say, there are so many people who take a scripture from the Bible. For example, Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. He is born again, justified of Christ. All right, he's now in the body. He's now in the body of Christ, full of the Holy Ghost. You are quoting scripture, no? You are Christopher, you are in the body at the body for. You are wrong. Read verse twenty-four. What well, you made mistake? So you see, you have to understand the Bible. Who read your Read the pretext, read the, the text, and read the context of the text to get understanding of what the author was saying. In the one way, you pick a scripture out of the Bible and make a doctrine out of it, and you will be wrong. Can we worship God without the Bible? The Bible is God is a book God has given to us for us to know His will. But said the demons, how do I differentiate which one good, to read? Good, 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 powerful, good. That is why when Jesus came, that is Jesus came. He said, "I will pray the Father, and He shall send you another Comforter. He said, "He shall guide you into all truth." That is the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Where does it dwell? He dwells in us. So how, can we leave the Bible and go with it? God speaks to us through the Bible. Aside the Bible, the Holy Spirit also speaks to us. And one of the platforms God speaks, or speak to us, is through the Bible. Because all scriptures were inspired by the Holy Ghost. All scriptures. All scriptures. And you say, I'm one the end of the That is where I treat you. I'm going to record this. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say. Okay, you go ahead and explain the Bible. <laughs> so we know which way to go. Okay. Now, um, what is the Bible carefully on? Especially the teachings of Jesus. The teachings of Jesus, you know. It helps us to live um, the kingdom life. Now, we share the teachings of Jesus and now the teachings of Moses. Uh, there's a little bit different. Uh, for example, when we say a man for boy, San Paiwe, our father who art in heaven, hello be thy name. Who is after the man for boy? Just I no say him boy. There be one can it sir? Hey. Mm hmm. Yeah. And okay. It's a different revelation. No? Yeah, go ahead. Correct. Or say after this manner, pray this way. After this manner, or today your steps that your father born paiwe. One can say him more San Paiwe no. He was teaching the said. What is the description for the bar? I no say Jesus. Today send your born paiwe. Today send me your born paiwe. Send your John. Actually, the son for no send a bomb pain. Oh no, see what a point we so after this manner. So he was giving them a model. So I just say one can say more some no. And if it is not the Lord's prayer, it wasn't the Lord's prayer. Jesus prayed in John chapter seventeen, and that's what we call the Lord's prayer. John seventeen. Pabu no wonin yezu ne boye. We can say that one is the Lord's prayer. But the one Matthew chapter nine, Matthew chapter nine, Luke eleven, and yet the Lord's prayer is we is those who were translating those things they wrote they wrote the Lord's prayer, but it's not the Lord's prayer. So he was teaching them a model. And one thing here, we will pick certain things. For example, or say thy kingdom come. And I'm a boy. But look at Luke 17. Or say the kingdom of God is within you. So God's kingdom does not come. God's kingdom is inside you. Okay, you are watching Revelations with um, Evangelist Francis Esiedu and Mami Gris. This is my Bible. Okay. I want you to check mm -hmm. every page mm -hmm. is being marked okay you see yes you were a pastor so you know this bible exactly every page is being marked mm -hmm. i read this bible four times a year cover to cover wow every first quarter mm -hmm. i read this bible say na me be much wrong every page is marked mm -hmm. every page Okay. Now, can you, you can see. Yeah. Every page is marked. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? Yes. I read this Bible, like I said, cover to cover, mm -hmm. four times a year, every quarter. You make it sure I'm kind. Cover to cover. Okay. So, in Tusha, my marking was saying, I'm reading this book mm -hmm. cover to cover over 60 times. Okay. Powerful. Until I'm a book. 
Do you think, sir, we should read the Bible all the time without quickening the Christ in us? You need to leave it and continue. Grooming your, your God in you, mm -hmm. should we always hold this? We shouldn't end. When you are in class one, you read class six, you read a different book, university, and we are still holding the book, class mm -hmm. one book. Is that how we should hold this Bible? This, I want you to explain. Take your time and explain. Okay, I will explain Because I want to understand. Okay, Matthew chapter four, verse four said something. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. Now, the word proceeded, no? It means it's a present tense continuous. Meaning it's a God keeps on talking to us every day. So today you read the same John 3, 16. God will give you a different understanding of what you read. The next day you read, you get a different understanding. So you can't let go of this Bible. Where do you get the understanding from? By the Spirit of God through reading. By the Spirit of, of God, God through what, reading. reading. Do you believe God speaks to people uh -huh. without the Bible? I do. I do believe. So God cannot speak to you without the Bible? God can speak to us. God speaks to us in various ways. Uh -huh. Several ways. Uh -huh. In visions, in dreams, mm -hmm. through prophets, through circumstances, through his word, um, through animals, even animals. I will explain. Numbers chapter 22. God used a donkey to speak to um, Balaam. God used a vulture to feed Elijah. So God can use the animal and animals to talk to you. My Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6. He said, go to the ant and learn his ways. He said, he said I've sent you, he said, uh, I've sent you as sheep among wolves. He's using the character of animals to communicate to us. So God uses even animals to talk to us. God can even use leaves and trees. Even the book of Judges, trees we're talking. So God can use devious means to talk to us. So this book is an everlasting book. You, are, you, are, you have no right to let it go. Because every blessed day, God has something new to tell you. In the Bible, they in say the Bible. we write new things in it. No new things, but different understanding and different light. I don't want us to divert. So the different understanding, mm -hmm. is it not the Christ in you mm -hmm. that is giving you the different understanding? The Christ is giving you different understanding. And the purpose of you with the Bible is to bring the Christ in you more. To bring, the, Paul says something, Galatians 4. He said, I travail that Christ be formed. So those who cannot read the Bible, what happens to them? It's very easily. If you can't read the Bible, let somebody assist you. I have trained people who didn't go to school. It's not about going to school. It's not about what I'm saying. Is, uh -huh. Do you know there are places in Ghana here? Ah, who kwa who Bible ba kokra? Then maybe it's their choice. So what happened to those people? Uh, I think they are being deceived because the Bible is the most common book in the world. Is is, is the I mean is the book that the whole world? You were a pastor, right? Yes. How many villages have you gone to visit with the Bible? Okay, before God, them, I wouldn't lie. Not many, though. But I would say I've been to um, almost about five or six. Five or six? Yes, I wouldn't this lie. This country? Yes. Just five? I wouldn't lie. 18 years being a pastor? Somebody has not even gone to one, so I've tried. It's you we are talking about? Yes. Continue on, on masking the <laughs> devil. All right. I, think I, I like you, your way of communication. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, we talk about witchcraft. We talk about sorcery. All right. And there's another aspect of the channel through which Satan, I mean, influence people or operate. And one of the powerful ways that Satan also um, influence people is what you call deception. Deception. And that's what many pastors are doing now. Deceiving people. Yeah, exactly. Deception. Preaching false doctrine. So when you say, yeah, when you say, one you say, one you say, one you say, one you say, it's, it's a Bible intro. But is it not the same thing you are telling us right now? Say. Say, we'll be an kind Bible, no, when you are tight, no, we'll die, I'm sorry, they won't pray any idea. But some are possessed. I didn't say possessed, they possess is a very big word. So what did you say? What I'm trying to say, there are pastors, eh, mm -hmm. who are inter misinterpreting scriptures, that's what I'm talking about. And what, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say, so what you say? It's not in line with what God is saying, you know. But it's not in line with in line with what God is saying, you know. But it's not in line with what God is saying, He will take that word and manipulate the person, deceive the person, take money from the person. That's what I'm talking about. And there are many pastors doing this. Okay, from your submission, okay. all the problems you are describing uh -huh. is found in the church. Yeah. And that is where we were supposed to project Christ, right? Exactly. 
but we are we are doing other stuff like mm -hmm. you are saying yes so is it very okay to leave all this bible i mean i'm not saying we should throw Neglect it away it. Okay. But what I'm saying, said the ye abu akebi ni pa akebi baby wawa ense se ohana u u u did you see just like you said say mm -hmm. follow the cross carry your cross go here and go there can we put the Bible down and take away divisions and pro, uh, preach love mm -hmm. and forgiveness and see what the healing we will get as Christians can we do this? We can, or it's not possible. We, we can do this by knowing, because the best book to get the, the knowledge of the love and what you are talking about is from the Bible. So, but you know that this is the Bible we are reading and mm -hmm. you are saying mm -hmm. we, have, we are practicing witchcraft and all the things you are saying in the same church. It's the same thing because... So if we are speaking one language mm -hmm. by preaching, we, we leave the, church, the Bible here. Mm -hmm. So those who, who are not able to differentiate asema abuwa kanye, asema nipa kanye, any asema nyame kanye, if we can put it down because we are getting confused about it. Nase, ye nina ye 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 say we will go one line. Mm -hmm. We are all preaching love, okay. forgiveness, unity. Okay. Sa, don't you think we will be better? Oh yeah, why not? Since it is in line with scriptures, it is in line with God's word. Mm -hmm. And we are preaching about love. Because even the Bible talks about 1 Corinthians 13. He said, the greatest of them is what? Love. Mm -hmm. Paul says, me me. So when love is preached, and the center of Christ is love. Christ is love. So you preaching love to the people, you're preaching Christ. And I believe that when, and you see, love has dimensions though. Love has dimensions. When we read Ephesians chapter number three, it talks about the length, the breadth, the width, and way of love. So preaching love to them is preaching Christ. And the only way love can come is by preaching Christ. And if the church or pastors of today, Yeyeba Abin say, we preach about love. Love, Udo Bia, Umban Unyanaza, Udo Bia, Umfa Nijere, Udo Bia, Um Konkonsa, Udo Bia, Uya Sofwa, Unkofa, Untwisham, Control and Jisco before, Undono, Uya Udin is Sabe, Uya Sofwa, now we are Udi, you see, everything that we are doing is not in line with love. Uya Udini, in fact, we should be assessed at Pamu. Because we would demand the bonsam yare bako. Pastors of today, eh, in quote, let me use only Ghana. Majority of pastors, 70 in Ghana, Ghana, are not doing the work of God because they love the church. Oh. Because they want to extort money from them. I, oh, I, many, I've seen some of them. I've listened to some of their messages. You could see pride. You could see hatred. You could see person and some of the pastors. Many pastors in Ghana, I'm telling you, without any type of doubt, 70% of them are not doing the real work. And they are using the same Bible. Yes. Because the Bible has become like something like a, a, a tool for deception. So if we leave it and we all start talking about, because you said, the be TBR, no, now you become that thing. Exactly. So if we put it down and we start talking about love, forgiveness, love, forgiveness, mm -hmm. happiness, love, love, don't you think we will all become love and Christ will be bigger in us? Exactly. But we can only do that by also knowing what is, is in that thing, is in the book, sorry. Okay. In 10 minutes, I'm not going to ask you any mm -hmm. question. I want you to give us, uh, um, 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 unveil the devil, okay. one after the okay. other, so people will get your message. I'm not going to ask you anything. In 10 minutes, okay, all right. start from Lucifer becoming bright and Abigail and all that <laughs> till the end. Okay. I won't interrupt for right, 10 okay. minutes so that whoever that is watching us will get your message. Okay, all right. Like we started earlier on, on Lucifer, who is... Uh, uh, Anointed cherub became Satan by reason of say wrong perception. So what I say now the Bible describes Lucifer as a devil, and I've already uh, explained the difference between Satan and devil. I said Satan is a name, devil is what is an attitude. So what I say here, let's come to I've talked about the channel side then or do pretty. Now let's talk about the weaknesses. Satan has a limit. A Christopher will be bringing himself on some limit, and when they hear the name Satan, but let me tell you something. Before God and before the word of God, the most weakest person in this earth is Satan. Bonsamia, the most weakest, the most nothingness, and the most useless person, personality on this earth. What are some of the weaknesses of Satan? And what are the limitations of Satan? Number one, Bonsam Onimutrim. Onim the Number one. 
the knowledge, the knowledge base number two, the knowledge base, the knowledge base. If agent at the Obeka, Okasa, any young day, we need the information. Number two, uh, number three, Satan, oh, he owns me for a major attack on you unless you, you have permitted him. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 27. Was to give no place to the devil. It means that the devil can only operate so woman or, or a limit. Number four, Satan is not everywhere. Only baby, uh, Satan is not everywhere. Number two, Satan, he gets power by reason of by reason of your character. Onya to me based on what? Your character. It, if your character is right, Satan has no option. It is job you need to say, do you still hold on hold on to your integrity, not your money? Do you still hold on to what? Your integrity. It is some there are so many limitations. Well, I've written a book by the grace of God. I've, I've entitled it on masking the devil. And I would think that Bonsam is the most wicked. In fact, or the most wickest. And let me tell you something. Bonsam was slow. Satan has fear. He is the most fearful being. So a Christophobia being named for being yet. So a Christonia. Uyoja. Bible says our God is a consuming fire. So if you become a child of God, that same nature of fire, it will it is a whole bar, a whole bar, not a big four, a bar, no one in Christ, good in Babia, we are, who are no Janet. But Christopher, Christopher, we break because we are ignorant of our original identity. Now, about to tell you, I did my come up for and I will Christonia, as a woman. When who is I deal with your Christo, somebody, your dear mau, and a Christopher breakers never so many den, the Patonia den. Tribulation womb, persecution womb, fine. But ye, the Mark is a summary den, a ignorance of who you are. Your dear man, son number one. Who you are in Christ Jesus. Number two, where you are in Christ Jesus. Number three, um, number three, what you possess in Christ Jesus. And number four, what you can do in Christ Jesus. Besan boss will be a dear Macuma four. Say one name said we are born. Some be bull say, you know, I dear four we the baby away. Baby a crystal edward jina. I dear who wore a crystal mo. And I dear beating my yo crystal mo. Say one name is a dear and nine yam a patch of crystal. Some bear Amen. No. It is hard to my boss. We a very, very important part. You have to study about who you are in Christ Jesus. Now, another thing, um, Maka about the limitations of Satan. But then call about um, how Satan gets power. Come first about some power. For example, so Obiko come for what? Wow. Come for the catcher, Semeba, Dina Power. Or so, Ebia me here, Bam me here, Juma, and I'm a Juma Kosu ye. Or so, okay. Now, come for the bizarre say, Edina Mina Masu, Bessemi Juma Tumpon, Sidney Sidney say. Na confona e nyankumade ana meboa obe nyankumade o nyankumade ni wiya no ama ade bi e fe ni sorcery either an object ibu e baka se bi ajiko sua we ana ji we fakọ hwe ma me ka se kitwin chiro bo sam ni tumi o un ma de kunti an nipa ne ko yesa ade na na testimony aba let me tell you number 1 yesu ka se bi o se whatsoever you desire won so your desire has power your passion has power enti sa jidi na de call comfort ho no Confound the young commander, or the will we will design a day at their fry win or you know. Satan can never operate in your life unless you give him permission. It is our will now, you know, out the coin that desires of Gidina or the coin. Side Gidino, I want somebody dinner for day at the Asadi and the Mao. It is our dinner, a course, and you want somebody hear you. Okay, as some sister two verse eleven, or say all power belongs to God. Matthew chapter twenty eight, verse um, verse eighteen. Jesus said, Behold, all power has been given unto me. Romans chapter thirteen, verse one, or say all authority are said by God. So if God has all power, Jesus said all power has been given unto me. Which power was the devil using? Wow! It will give you now the coin, you know. And I confirm the genius said that Eddie will be my own. And yes, I confirm it to me. A deception. So what I say? It is oh, no more but confirm with the confirm of power. Only who take, only who need, who need him. Yes, you see the prince of this world cometh, and he has nothing in me. Who can answer chapter fourteen? Reading from verse sixteen to seventeen. Bible say, or says when you see the devil. Bible says you shall now only look at him and say, ah, it is a deal in the front of the Bible. Bible says, who is the one? Who is the one? Read that 14, verse 16 to 17. Or when you see the devil, you say, ah, it is a deal in the front of the Bible. The devil is nobody. You are hyping him. You are paying him. You are paying him. The devil is nobody. You are hyping him. You are paying him. Especially the deliverance of the Bible. The deliverance of the Bible. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, and the Bible says, and the Bible says, and your confession always brings possession. The moment you have transferred power because Jesus has given you authority over the earth. 
at the moment whatever you say no you trans you emitted some power into the devil amen no it is some or the most useless the most nothingness now we read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21 the bible says that we are seated far above all principalities all powers all might all dominion and every name that is named i did be able to be a bible say you so so i just here so Ephesians chapter 5 verse Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 6 bible say when christ was uh, christ resurrected no we resurrected with him and we are seated with him in the heavenly places other translations say uh, in the deep heavens so what I say, and he said we are far above. In the John chapter three, verse thirty to thirty-three, or say he that is from above is above all. It is born some ocean nasi. Some Listen, Bible said resist the devil and he will flee. Or when the boss na kasano, Bible said resist him and he will flee. What about these demons? It is born some many people be say hype no. We have to say before we will flee not niyema shano. You you are loser. Christ only to be in a way you show. You are loser. It is you don't know who you are. Now to wonder before be yell. Now we yo, now we yo, only pen of Jane. Once one out of Sunway, Cache, Bay, she me, Caboyo. Once what does it do? If we say, do a Timimuno, or to say near what we are saying, as who be for no Jane. Also die, no, if one daca, no first of all, Sofo, Missundayo, Sofo, you are a fellow. Born again believer, full of the Holy Ghost. Ah, Bible said that I've given you authority over the earth, not over. Nunga or Teshi or Labadio, or have given you authority over the whole earth. So if any witch flies without your permission, una hear ye. If a witch is able to finish you, you are failure to in the body of Christ. Put on your dominion over everything. Everything, including ye levy. Including ye levy, madam. Thank you. Continue. I won't ask you anymore. Amen. So what I say? Oh, or say, let us make man in our own image, and let them Theo, and let them not the prophet. Not the evangelist, not the apostle, not the teacher. So what I say, it was so that I pay so for so for that so yeah. We crazy me. Sebi. Amen. You are not in church. <laughs> you are on revelations platforms. <laughs> oh, you have the power. There's no need for you to call the man of God. Because that same authority that Jesus gave to the man, he has given to you. The name of Jesus was not given to only prophet. It was given to everybody. Every born again believer can cast out the devil. Or say in my name, you shall one for obedience or whole. Or say you, the believer, you shall cast out devils. Why are you so sold out to a pastor? And I'm a pastor, and I'm a pastor, and I'm a for dear, and I'm so for dear. I'm not saying don't honor your, your man of God. I'm not saying don't appreciate your man of God. But if you rely on your man of God, you're a failure. He's a man of what? Man of God. Man. Man speak of flesh. Man of God, not God of man. So I just say, or you're a man of God. Nipa, who made the eternity? So what I say, it don't. Satan is nobody. Oh, he's nobody. Oh, slow one, because I'm telling you, he fears you. But you see, he operates on the platform of knowledge. When Satan comes, there are two things. No, or check it. He checks your mystery about the mystery about him. Whether you have knowledge about who he is. So what I say, Satan is nobody. On on him, on him, so no be So what I say, you know be Now let me go to with this. I'm short minute. Let me tell you. Adia Musa Musuro. Adia Meka Meka Adia Miensa. But Ebe Muna Kakra. But as I, I believe you understand, but the Adia Bakwa Musa Musuro is the presence of God. Satan doesn't fear the presence of God. I prove it to you from the Bible. In Genesis chapter three, Satan entered a serpent. God was there. Adam was there. Eve was there. And they were talking. He was not afraid. There was no fear. In Matthew chapter number four. Jesus was Jesus is God in human form. Am I right? Jesus is God in human form. The Bible says when he was fasting, he was tempting him. He was there with him. 40 days, 40 nights. He wasn't afraid of him. That is one. Our time is so okay. Number two. Bonsam and Sru number two. I don't know what Bonsam is fasting. And setting kinds of prayers. Bonsam and Sru. There's only one prayer that the, the devil fears. Amen. Which is go ahead. Okay. Fasting. Number, number three. I never call Bonsam Musuru. Yeah, uh, Matthew chapter number Tell four. Tell us what he, he is afraid of. I always want solution. Okay. He said one prayer, Penu Suru. Yes. Give us that prayer. Adia Bonsam Suru, there's a prayer we call authoritative prayer. That is not praying, not praying from earth to heaven. That is praying from heaven to earth. It's in the future. How is it done? Please. How is it done? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's done like this. Number one. Yeah. Um, have the mindset. With the Bible says we are seated in the heavenly places, far above all principalities. So everything that 
you, uh, everything of the devil is below you. So when you are praying, you pray with the mindset, say, like you are in a position and you are commanding. Oh, we, we understand. I said, we will be a light way. We said, we form. So we will throw. That's what shame The person, we call it authority, authority prayer. A prayer you pray from heaven to earth. A prayer is a prayer of command. That's what the Bible says in Isaiah 46. Or say, command ye me. Command ye me. Other translations say, order me. So what I say. So the only prayer Satan fears, we call it authoritative prayer. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Ephesians chapter number 1, verse 21. And Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5 to 6. That is where you can find that prayer. That's where you can find that prayer. We are here uh, with um, evangelist uh, Siedu talking about unveiling the devil. Until we are unveiling the devil. Questions are not me me be saying, you know, your time, you know. I do I didn't get the opportunity to ask, but I will ask you one, and then you t you answer and tell us uh, what how you see revelations in one minute. Okay. When the, you read the Bible, it keeps saying, "My people, Israel, my people, Israel, my people." Africa. How different are we from Israelites? When it comes to in character, I would say there's a similarity. No, I mean in God. In God. Or with God. When he keeps saying, the Bible keeps saying, Israelite, Israelite, mm -hmm. Israelite. We are Ghanaians, we are Africans. Yes. I want to know how, what we have to do with, whenever we read the Bible and see my people, mm -hmm. Israel, my mm -hmm. people, Israel, where do we place ourselves? I would, play, I, I would say, one word the other way, like we are one. We are Israelites. Spiritual Israelites. Spiritual Israelites. Yes. Wow. How do you see revelations in one minute? Okay. In one minute, Revelation is a very powerful programmer. I will encourage everybody to watch because we learn a lot. I've been watching it for a couple of weeks and months. And I believe that uh, it enlightens uh, uh, the eyes of understanding. At the same time, you know, it, it puts you on check. Which means that but when somebody's teaching her, we say, oh, this is a, a very good platform. I listened to Unim Men of God. You made some powerful statements. I wrote them down. And I said, wow, that's really good. So I even said, okay, I also want to come. Come and, and you are here. Yeah. Please come. Okay, thank you so for uh, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your coming. Thank you. Your friend, Moana, Moaba, you are making us uh, learn. Oh boy, you know. So that is um, Evangelist Esiedu, as episode of Revelations. My name is Mami Grace. All I'm saying is let's keep learning. And that what is a Bible, you know? Enye ni ni na ne me to me da ekota, mami. Reverend Esiedu, or see a big wakwa, a mwa krakasa, a big wakwa, a nipa, and a kind, or see Satan crow on the way's womb, and a nyanko pon so so, a sem womb, and say, would to me ma, would ya discernment of spirit, na or direct to ko nyame, a sem hon, and nuna ebe bo wun bai. We care, we want to know, we don't want anybody to lose his soul, and our his soul, terade embwa yin 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 y